William Phillips, did the officer tell you not to smoke? It's kind of hard to hear around here. I'm, I'm, I'm out of town on a construction site, and I'm, I'm the lead, so. Well, uh, sir, you're supposed to be in court. Okay, I, I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am. So you better make sure you can hear. We're going to have a real problem if I call your name and you can't hear. We're going to have a real problem if you break rules and procedures. A few minutes later. One quick announcement, Judge. I see people on there smoking and eating and drinking. We need to quit that. You're in a court of law. Yes, you've all been warned. Not I saw that, too, with Mr. Phillips. I saw him eating. I saw him drinking. I'm not as concerned about drinking because I do know our throats, if we do a lot of talking, do get dry. But come on, people. You're in court. Listen to your instructions and follow them. And the smoking, stop that. All right, where's that gentleman, Mr. Phillips? What happened to you? All right, let's get you back to work. We are on the record in 2024, TR 1376, State of Kansas versus William Wayne Phillips with Jared Regeer for the state. Mr. Phillips, in count one, you're accused of speeding 86 in a 65 mile per hour zone, that is a traffic infraction, no jail time, but a fine. And then count two, driving while your license was canceled, suspended or revoked. That is a B misdemeanor normally, but the county attorney on August 1st of 2024 filed an amended information alleging that not only were you driving while suspended on May 21st of 24, but that you did have a prior driving while suspended conviction from August 23 in Wichita Municipal Court. That prior elevates this from a B to an A non-person misdemeanor. It increases the fine from $1,000 to $2,500 maximum, and it requires a minimum must serve five days in jail up to one year in jail. With that minimum mandatory jail time, are you going to be hiring an attorney, sir? Uh, um, with that, my license has uh, been suspended due to being out of state. And uh, it's no longer suspended out there. Like, I've been going back and forth with California for three years over this. And it's no longer suspended. And all I, all I have to do is go get my license here, what I've been told from. All right. Uh, well, the, they go by what the status was when you were driving. And I think if you had an attorney, he'd probably say stop talking and wait to talk to him before you make any more statements. But you can waive your right to an attorney and represent yourself. You've heard me tell people all morning that you can hire an attorney if you cannot afford an attorney. You can apply and see if you qualify for court appointed. But now you told me you were the supervisor of a company there, so I'm not sure that you'd qualify, but you can always apply. Uh, you could waive your right, though, and represent yourself, and we can either set this for trial or give you some time to talk to an attorney. What would you like to do? In the beginning, you said uh, something about obtaining a license, though. Because this is this is just oh, a first you're thinking case, about right? okay. You're thinking about when I was talking to the group, probably about diversion. If you get your license, uh, you can maybe qualify for diversion. I'm not sure you'd be successful. You can always check, but it looks like with your speed, you're probably outside their guidelines. I think I saw something to suggest that maybe not. Yeah, I think you're outside the speeding guidelines, and I don't think they divert on second time driving while suspended. But again, I'm not the one that decides that. It's not even my program. It's strictly up to the county attorney. You can always look and see if you'd qualify, but from my years in this business, I have a hunch you're not eligible. Well, I, I don't, if I need an attorney, I, I'm not going to get one from you guys. That's most definitely. All right. 
a lot yeah. of poker players will appreciate that. Okay, so you're going to hire an attorney? Yes, ma'am. All right, I'll make a note that you're hiring an attorney. And uh, let's put this on uh, Monday. Yes, Judge, that'll be October 28th. Can it be scheduled after that? I won't be back into uh, this area for the next, like, two or three months. So I'm not going to put it off two or three months, but I can move it up. Do you want to try to do it before you leave? When are you leaving? I'm already gone. That's oh, the thing. Gone? Yeah. So, I mean. Where are you in California? No. I'm in Independence, Kansas. Well, that's not that far. It is when I have to work. I mean, you know, I mean, the only reason why I've been driving back and forth with no license is because I have to feed a family. You know what I mean? So I understand what you and, mean. And, 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 and that's not an excuse. That's a reason, you know, so. All right. Uh, give me that date again. Um, farther out than October 20th. Oh, I don't or, want to do okay. that. Now, how long are you going to be in Kansas, though? How long am I going to be in Kansas? Right. Are you leaving state for any reason with your work? No, I won't be back a around El Dorado for like three months. Okay. All right, sir. I'm detecting a bit of an attitude and I've had a bit of problem with you all day long. I'd suggest you kind of take a deep breath and try to get rid of the attitude because then if you don't, you may cause me to have to get an attitude too. So well, like that, make, take that deep breath, do, do the same thing. You know what I mean? Excuse me? I said same. Do the same thing. Take that deep breath. Goose Fraba. All right, Mr. Phillips. Do you know what my title is? I do, but that doesn't give you the right to belittle me or anybody else in your court. You know, right, you have you're, a code you're, of Okay. So you have I am finding your conduct contemptuous. Because you're interfering and disrespecting the process and the court. You are hereby fined for direct contempt of court, $100 cash payable in one week to the clerk of the district court. That's fine. And if I have any more problem with you, it's going to go up a little bit more. And if I have any more problem with you, you can go to jail over it. <clears throat> You don't seem to be respecting or appreciating this court. You've drunk. I can't remember if I saw you smoking. You've eaten since this hearing started. You've rolled your eyes. You have just been totally inappropriate. You've complained that you can't be here when I tell you to. But it's inconvenient because you're maybe a couple hours away. Some of these people are in other states. I had someone from Australia on the docket here recently. So don't but tell that's me. Not this case. That's not this case. This is my case, not their case. Yes, it is. And that's no, $200 for contempt. You better get a clue who's in charge here and why you're here. It's because you were allegedly violating the law. I didn't go out and find you, and you are not to respect to any court or disrespect to any court that way. $200, Mr. Phillips, due in court Monday or you can serve three days in jail if it's not paid by one week from today. One week from today. I've just, this is my final order on the subject. $200 so, to the clerk of the district court one week from today. And if it's not paid. So is it Monday or is it one week from today, which would be Wednesday? Because you're going off of business days, correct? You're, you're ordered to be in court, in court, in the courthouse. August 21st, 2024, 9 a.m. You are to be in El Dorado, Kansas at 201 West Pine, 
the Butler County Judicial Center, August 21st, 2024 at 9 a.m. So you're making me appear under duress and coercion and threats of incarceration, pretty much. I'm just trying to understand this because before you were willing to do it and then you said I had a disrespectful attitude, but I've been listening to you, ma'am, all day, just drilling everybody. You know, I'm a supervisor on a construction crew and I don't even drill my guys like that or their family members. I know this is being recorded, so I would like a copy of this because I'm going to take this to an attorney. You are to be here in person at the Butler County Judicial Center, 201 West Pine, El Dorado, Kansas, 9 a.m. August 21, 2024. I have found you in direct contempt of court for your attitude, your comments, your disrespect, your your delay of the proceedings because I'm having to take extra time away from others to deal with this arrogance and the eating and the drinking and, and so forth. And you owe me, you owe the court too. I don't owe you nothing. I owe the court and the state of Kansas. See, that's your problem. You're taking your own personality into your law and that's not appropriate. That is not appropriate. You were talking to some lady about her mother forgetting and then grilled her about her forgetting. That's not her mother's position. $500 cash. Can we hurry up and get this over with? $500 cash for direct court? That's fine. $500 cash for direct court. And I am ordering you to surrender yourself by 2.30 today to the Butler County District Court. 2.30 today. I cannot do that. Because well, you're I'll making send me the sheriff out court. to get you. Because you're putting your personality in this, man. I'm going to hire an attorney. I am going to get off the off this Zoom, and I want this sent to my email. I know your deputy is listening, and I I demand this footage because I'm going to take this and I'm going to appeal all of this. You, you have been I'm delaying gonna... the court the whole time. No, no, I, I'm giving you my people. order. Disconnect him from the call. He better be here or the sheriff will go out. I will, I will not be there. All right, the sheriff will come get you. Of, what is, is your address? Where, where are you located? Of imprisonment. Mr. Phillips, where are you located? Not here. You refuse to tell me your address and your location? That is under threat and incarceration. I want my attorney present. What company do you work for? It is, it is none of your business. You will be informed through my attorney. My attorney, yes. I need, you, I need you to state your name for me. So you refuse to tell me where you're located. You refuse to tell me. That is under address. threat, ma'am. That is under threat over a speeding ticket when you kept arguing with other people. I've been on this call patiently waiting at work patiently waiting when i i called because i got a Just reminder to him from the call i'm not going to allow him to, to reschedule these proceedings this. anymore missy disconnect i was trying to reschedule it so I all right folks let's move on much much later and your honor um with all apologies to the court the state would respectfully request to go back on the record in 24 TR 1376, William Phillips. We are uh, back on the record in uh, 2024 20, TR 1376, State of Kansas versus William Wayne Phillips. That's William Wayne Phillips, Jared Regeer for the state. Mr. Phillips not reappearing at this time, Mr. Regeer. Your Honor, the state's understanding is that the court did enter certain orders, including assessing a $500 fine in cash, as well as the, um, as well as uh, time um, for, to, for the defendant to submit himself to law enforcement at 2.30 p.m. The state's understanding is also um, that the court had at least contemplated um, a, um, a, a, a due date for that um, fine. I believe it was uh, one week from today's date is what had been contemplated. The state would respectfully request clarification if all those are the continuing orders of the court at this time. 
Candidly, Mr. Regeer, I am going to need to go back over that video and get those specific answers for you. I know I changed them a couple of times in light of his uh, continuing presentation of himself and interpretation of the court. Therefore, I need to go back over them. I believe what you just said is correct, but I, I want to confirm the record to make sure. If, if, if that is the case, Your Honor, um, the state has nothing further, and the state does um, apologize again for going back on the record in this particular matter. Not at all. I totally understand and appreciate your situation. So. All right. Uh, William Wayne Phillips? Yes, sir. Right. I, would just like to, I would just like to apologize for my actions, the reason why I'm here. I was having a really bad day, and uh, I let my mouth get the better of me, sir. Okay. We'll address that a little bit more in a moment. This is State of Kansas versus William Wayne Phillips. I do see in this file an order and sentencing finding defendant in contempt of court and order to take into custody due to disruptive behavior, uh, apparently on August the 14th before Judge Webster. Review the court's order. You were found in direct contempt of court multiple times, Mr. Phillips, and I appreciate your apology for having a bad day, but uh, orders have already been made. Court first finds the defendant $100, then increases to $200, and then finally $500. Said fine still does not dissuade the defendant from his ongoing contemptuous conduct, so the court orders him removed from the call by the Zoom administrator, and the order was fulfilled. Court orders uh, any law enforcement officer who may find the defendant wherever he may be to apprehend and detain him till he can be brought before the court for further sentencing on his subsequent direct contempt of court of failing to appear at 2.30 p.m. this date as ordered. Well, that was a really bad day, Mr. Phillips. Yes, sir. Uh, I, I work out of town and I have I, I suffer from bipolar syndrome and I left my medication at home. And it, it was just one thing after another that day. And I let my mouth overrun my intelligence. And I tried to make it here on time, but I was working out in independence. And when I came here, I felt that if I would have turned myself in, it, it would have been more bad than it was good. And then... I just made I just made a snowball get bigger, sir. Hmm. So eventually, you were just picked up on an arrest warrant. Yes, sir. I, I was picked up on Thursday. On Thursday. Yes, sir. Okay. And where were you picked up at? In Wichita, in in Mays. I was I was leaving my. The company I work for, their yard out in Goddard to another location, another job site. And then that's how I got picked up, sir. Okay. So when did you arrive in, in the jail in, uh, in Butler County? Uh, Monday is the soonest they came and got me, sir. Okay, well, apparently you didn't see a judge on Monday then? No, sir. All right. And Anything I about that statement uh, that you would contest regarding... How long he's been in jail, Mr. Canfield? Your Honor, I was looking through the booking sheet now. I've not been able to find exactly when the defendant was booked into our jail, but I have no reason to believe that that's incorrect. And I, I, I could pay the 500 upon my release today or whenever. All right. I, 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 the only, I, I just want to keep my job. I'm, I'm the only one that works in my household, and I, as, I mean, you hear this all the time that the longer I'm here, the more jeopardizing that it goes to my family, and that's the only, I mean, I understand I did wrong, and I need to be, a, you know, reprimanded for that, for my actions, and I, and like I said before, I, I, I truly apologize. Uh, there's no, uh, Excuse for it, sir.
What about uh, these underlying charges, Mr. Phillips? I know we've, we've talked about the contempt, but not while uh, uh, we haven't talked about why you were in court in the first place. You had a speeding charge, 86 and a 65. Yes, sir. And you also had a driving while suspended, a Class A misdemeanor. Apparently, it's not your first. No, sir. I, I, I've been working with the state of California to uh, beginning of August. I had paid all my dues to the California to release my license, which they returned to me because my license has been suspended for 23 years for no reason. Pretty much. Yeah. And I finally got it resolved. And I've been in constant step on trying to better my situation with my driving and then also with my license, trying to be productive in every way that I can within, you know, society, if you would. And it was just, you know. Uh, Are you wanting to try to get your license reinstated before trying to resolve these charges? Is that your goal? That's 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 my goal. I, I'm. Do you intend to do this on your own or do you want the court to consider a court appointed attorney? Uh. Wait a second. Uh, did, did you say I tried to get my license on my own or an attorney? Well, handle this case. Are you going to? It doesn't appear that you've had an attorney appointed in the past, and mm -hmm. I don't even know if you qualify for one. No, sir. Uh, I, I I planned on getting counsel through uh, Charlie O'Hare's office, okay. O'Hare O'Hare in Wichita. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I encourage you to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and establish a, a date then on a future calendar. How long is it going to take you to get this uh, attorney hired and get this business taken care of, Mr. Phillips? Uh, so Thursday when I got picked up, we had just moved from a from our old house. We were moving this weekend. So a lot of that has been tied up in that. But the sooner I can get back to work, the sooner I can set everything into motion. Like I already have a couple of hundred bucks saved up for the attorney. And then I, uh, I'm i trying to figure out how to go about, because in California, you have to call a number, which is their, uh, their like uh, driver's license helpline. And I'm not sure how to do it here. I don't know if I have to take off work to go to the DMV or if there's a number or if there's uh, online service I can do. I'm, I I don't know how to go about it. Okay. Well, here's the thing, Mr. Phillips, the, the court date I have for Judge Webster, who's pretty upset with you right now, I and I is not until December, but I think I really want to keep track of this case and set a court date much, much sooner. So I'm going to set you on an expedited docket with a different judge, Judge Lee. You can explain your situation to judge lee at that time he can do appropriate future scheduling if necessary but i'm going to set you on a docket 1 30 p.m on september the 20th that is a zoom docket mr phillips now you've handled yourself very appropriately today mr phillips and i appreciate that but when you get on with judge lee by zoom because this is a zoom docket so you can participate from the road but you need to have good audio good video and participate fully September 20th at 1.30 in Judge Lee's court. And in the meantime, if you can get the O'Hara firm on board, you need to give them that court date. Yes, sir. So September 20th at 1.30. All right, Mr. Phillips. I do note in the uh, docket notes in this case from August the 14th that Judge Webster said, ordered the $500 fine to be paid to the court in one week or three days jail time served. Well, if you're information to the court is correct you've already done twice that sounds like you've done about six days so far correct your honor right yes sir and you've certainly been in jail since monday i'm going to go ahead and order you released at this time on the contempt sanction Thank you, uh, i'm going to direct that you pay the 500 hundred dollar fine that you've already told the court you could do so get that paid uh within uh one week from today better yet right away Yes, sir. And get that part of your contempt order discharged. Sounds like from the uh, wording of the order of sentencing on this contempt that you earned every bit of that fine. I did, Your Honor. Every single bit of it and jail time. 
rude, personal, insulting, and disrespectful comments. Just no place for that in the system, Mr. Phillips. But you've done so much better today, I'm willing to give you another chance. I appreciate you, John. And I would hope that if you ever appear again in front of Judge Webster, that you start off with the same sincere apology that you started off with this court today. I, that's that's what I planned on doing, Your Honor. All right, Mr. Phillips. Now, if you have other holds on you, I'm not releasing you from those. But when it comes to the contempt hold or any hold in this particular traffic matter, I'm going to go ahead and uh, order you released. Uh, let me see if you had a bond. It said no bond. Well, now I'm going to place you on an OR bond. Okay. Your Honor, if I may. Yes. I did speak with the clerk's office just before this hearing, mm -hmm. as I did not see any notes about a bond set the last hearing. The clerk's office let me know that a bond of $500 cash was set, but as the court is issuing an OR bond today, I'd ask for a 1000 OR bond. Yeah, that's court will adopt that recommendation. Court will allow uh, Mr. Phillips to sign out on his own recognizance, $1,000 amount, which means if you don't show up next time or in the future, Mr. Phillips, you're going to owe an additional $1,000 on top of everything else. But uh, the bond is established in the case at $1,000 OR with the next court date, September 20th, 1.30 p.m. by Zoom with Judge Lee. Okay? I, I have a question, Your Honor. What is it? Do I, so I'm getting released and then I have to pay a thousand? No. Well, you can if you want to, but really you're signing out on your own recognizance, on your own promise. Okay. So you're not having to put up money today, but you still have to pay the $500 fine. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. I think, I think we're on the same page. You need to get okay. that done within the next seven days. Yes, sir. We'll do. If you don't have any other holds, you should be able to be released today, Mr. Phillips. Great. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. And again, I, I apologize. Apology accepted by this court anyway. Thank you, um, sir. We'll move on to another matter, Mr. Phillips. Have a good afternoon. Likewise, sir. Uh, State of Kansas versus William Wayne Phillips, case number 24TR1376. Okay, let the record reflect that Mr. Regeer and uh, the defendant, uh, sir, are you William Phillips? Yes, sir. All right. Mr. Phillips, do you have an attorney? I do not, Your Honor. What is your intention concerning an attorney? Uh, if I needed to, I was going to obtain counsel independently. All right. Now, I'm going to go through here. Your, your first or your parents on our, our August 14th. And you were ordered to do some things after being found in contempt. Then it looks like on September the 11th, you were before Judge Ricky, and you indicated you would be retaining your own counsel. And this says O'Hara. Yes, sir. And bond was set at 1000 OR, uh, which you apparently released on. And you were ordered that you must pay the $500 uh, to the court for the contempt within one week. Has that been paid? No, sir. Uh, I haven't been paid since I was incarcerated for that seven days. I, I was not issued payment. So this Tuesday when I get paid, I was going to uh, talk to you if I can get a little bit of extension. Until then, that's my payday. All right. Well, Mr. Um, Phillips, how are you wanting to proceed with this case? Are you going, are you requesting a trial? Are you requesting, what, what is you wanting to do? Uh, well, I'm also in legal steps in Sedgwick County. I also have the same type of uh, case there, and I'm uh, working with the state's prosecutor there to uh, obtain my license due to the fact that California had suspended it for 23 years unconstitutionally, and they had wound up uh, suspending that and then lifting it uh earlier this month or middle of August, actually. All right. Mr. Phillips, I, I asked you how you want to proceed with the case. Is that, you know, are you requesting a trial? Are you, you, you wanting to enter a plea? What are you wanting to do? 
I am requesting that the court grant me an extension to obtain my license with uh, conjunction with the uh, Sedgwick County and the state prosecution there who is willing to. Uh... All right. I, th this court isn't a part of any negotiations with the Butler County uh, attorneys, certainly, and or Sedgwick County. Um, you, you've had over a month in regards to since you've uh, been in court on this case, you've indicated you're going to have an attorney. Now you're, you're indicating you're not, and you're asking for this to be uh, continued. And I'm not going to do that. I'm going to set this for trial. If you are going to be represented by counsel, uh, then you need to hire them. We'll set this on Jim. Hold on. Jim, yes, let's set this on uh, the, the trial docket. So Mr. Phillips, your, your, Date for trial is November the 13th. I'm ordering that you be at the courthouse at court security. That will be a Zoom hearing, but like others that you've seen, been here through, you'll be at, at courthouse security to, to do that, conduct that trial. You have the right to an attorney, as was explained in the first appearances. If, you're, uh, if you wish to be represented by counsel but cannot afford one, you can apply to the court. Uh, for court appointed counsel. However, if you wait until uh, closer to the time for trial, that's probably not going to be uh, allowed. Uh, you've had time to, to uh, I don't know if, what your income is, if you would qualify or not, but you do have the right to be represented by counsel. Um, you need to be prepared to go one way or the other on, on uh, November the 13th at 1.30. I'm going to continue your bond but you are to be at the courthouse for that. And you'll need to, it'll also be on, on Judge Webster to determine what, if any, uh, how she wishes to proceed with the uh, contempt sanctions that were imposed. I would strongly recommend you get those that paid in advance, uh, well in advance. Um, but yes, that, that's a recommendation. Uh, I have one more thing, Your Honor, if I could. Is there any way that uh, the state would be willing to uh, do probation on this you matter? Need, you need to contact them. Not that in the courtroom is not when the negotiations take place. If you're represented by counsel, then they need to do it. If you're waiving your right to an attorney, uh, you'll need to unequivocally let them know and that you're going to represent yourself so that they can they can speak with you. But if you're going to have an attorney, you need to do uh, do that. But if you're going to, to contact them, uh, that's outside of court time. Yes, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Regeer, anything further? Not in this matter, Judge. All right, thank you. This matter is adjourned. Mr. Phillips, you're free to go. So the court date is November 13th at 1.30? Correct. For this. And then you said there was another one that was set at another time? No, they're both, but your contempt citation, uh, you know, on how the judge Webster wants to deal with that. If you haven't complied with the, her, her orders, uh, that's up to her at that time. If, uh, and your, your trial is also set at that time. Yes, sir, you are. Very well. All right. Thank you. That matter is adjourned. We are back on the record. I believe we have one case left. William Wayne Phillips, is that correct? I'm sorry, Judge. I was on the radio. What you got? Oh, okay. I think we're ready for William Wayne Phillips and Attorney Zolator. Okay. Let me get them in here. All right. Thank you. All right. We are on the record. In 2024, TR 1376, State of Kansas versus William Wayne Phillips. Please announce appearances. Jared McGeer on behalf of the state. Hey, please court. Mr. Williams appears in person with counsel Kevin Zolator. Hey. This matter is set for bench trial today. And uh, Mr. McGeer, I see, has subpoenaed Trooper 
Andrew Lieber, who has been with us since 1.30. Now then, uh, Mr. Zolator, does your client still wish to exercise his right to a trial? No, Your Honor, we're requesting a continuance. And for what reason? We were just recently retained, I think, uh, a few weeks ago. Well, this case originated with some kind of traffic stop, May 21st of 2024. The defendant uh, had first appearance August 14th of 24. He appeared before Judge Ricky in custody September 11th, 24. He appeared before Judge Lee September 20th, 2024. Each time, uh, well, this time he requested a continuance and the judge, judge, Chief Judge Ricky denied it. No, I'm sorry. Judge Lee denied it and set it for bench trial today before me. That was September 20th, the trial was set. The defendant told me back on August 14th, he was hiring an attorney. Mr. Regeer, your response? If indeed the continuance is being requested, um, other than recently retained, perhaps there are some other reasons, which I'm sure counsel can defer to the court better than I can. Um, I would advise the court in accordance with my duty of candor as an officer of the court um, that I am not aware if discovery has been provided in this case. Um, certainly, um, legally, that is something counsel for the defense would be entitled to. Um, however, um, to refresh the court's recollection... You don't have to refresh my recollection, counsel. Uh, he entered his appearance October 24th, 2024. You can't tell me if you sent him discovery? Your Honor, the for my understanding is that issue is still outstanding. So I don't want it outstanding. I want you to check your file and tell me if he's had discovery and when he got it. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Or, uh, Mr. Zolator, you're an officer of the court. Do you have discovery and when did you get it? Your Honor, I do not have discovery in my file with me, but I am not going to advise the court that I've not received it without checking uh, the office file, which I can pull up now. If you would, please. I, I am doing that now. Meanwhile, Mr. Regeer, if you have an answer from your end, I'd appreciate that. And while I look, Chad, I think Mr. Regeer was referencing other reasons, obviously, we were just recently retained. I haven't had a dis an ability to discuss with Mr. Regeer possible resolution short of a trial. Um, but, you know, all that I thought was somewhat implied in my statement that we were just recently retained. I, I don't think we've had sufficient time to do all the things normally that are done before a trial. Um, but I am pulling it up now and I can tell you if we've received discovery or not. It does not look like on my end, Your Honor, we have received discovery. Mr. Regeer, how long does it take your office to get discovery? I mean, October 24th, he requested it, and it's now November, what, 13th? How much longer do you think you'll need to get that to him by computer? Your Honor, the um, if uh, under these circumstances, the state does not object to this matter being set over. Well, my question was, and I don't know if Mr. Zolator is the office attorney. I don't think he is, but we've had this issue before, and I have repeatedly ordered discovery go to the attorney and what was it 128 day no I can't remember the number of days that your office even though I had ordered him multiple times to receive that had still not sent him full discovery I, I hope we're not going to get caught in another one of those situations where I order it and it's not done and I'm concerned that, that now I'm hearing that after all this time he hadn't even had it sent to him. So do you have any assurance better than what we've had in that other case that you'll send it to him, Mr. Regeer? Yeah, and from my end, Your Honor, and and I've never had problems with Mr. Regeer getting me discovery. Uh, my request was not based on, and I understand the court's frustration. I'm not trying to, to play both sides. Um, we just didn't, we haven't had it. I wasn't complaining about that at this time. Frankly, I don't think a trial is going to be necessary if I get discovery and I'm able to talk to Mr. Regeer, be more efficient that way. So I, uh, that's my request. And I don't have any prior, I don't know what case you're referring to, 
Um, but I, I would expect that I would get it in a short amount of time. Well, Mr. Regeer, do you recall which case I'm talking about? Uh, Your Honor, not by number, although I am, although based off my records, it would appear that uh, my office has communicated with uh, Mr. Zolotor's office as recently as, um, as recently as uh, uh, within the last 24 hours on the outstanding discovery issue. I would anticipate that being resolved in a timely fashion. So we've had this bench trial set all this time, and they finally had a communication with him about discovery the evening before. Yes, I am frustrated. This is not the way cases are handled or to be handled. Particularly in this case, where the defendant has been told by multiple judges that we would have a trial. The reason you all know, I'm sure, that I'm, I am expressing a frustration with this defendant is because he cannot do what court's telling to do according to my experience with him. And, and let's put that, ca that camera over there a little bit further so he can participate in these hearings. This defendant has told me in no uncertain ways that he doesn't have to give me what I ask for. He won't do it. He does not have to appear when I tell him to, and he has told me he won't appear when I tell him to. He has called me names, referred to me in a negative light, and he just does not seem to appreciate the judicial authority of me, of Judge Chief Judge Ricky or Judge Lee. He does not do anything any of us tell him to do, except I am impressed he shows up today with an attorney, one of which uh, I know is very respectable and does do what he says he's going to do. So we are making progress. To that end, Your Honor, at some point, my client would like to address you. The other issue? No, to address you. All right. Well, at this time, I will grant the continuance at the defendant's request, but it's going to be the only trial continuance because I feel like this defendant has just been trampling over the judicial system for months now, just literally trampling over it. And I don't know, Mr. Zolator, if you've seen the videos from earlier hearings, but if you haven't, you really need to. We have. All right. This uh, this case will be continued. When's our next bench trial? Or does he want a jury trial? I have a jury trial in February. Your Honor, uh, if you're, I haven't discussed that with him. I, I am represented to the court that I do not think a trial will be necessary. If I must elect, I will have to go with a jury trial at this time because I have not talked to him about waiving his constitutional right, which I think is guaranteed because it's a class right. A misdemeanor, not a class B. Very if we well. set this for a status, I think we can probably get this resolved. I can't guarantee that. If you don't want to do that, I would request the jury trial set in February. I, I will set it for jury trial, but you'll need, of course, make the written demand and so forth. Because I just don't want to let him, of course, like I said, he's got you now and you're not prone to play the games that he has. So, well, let's set it for pre-trial February 3rd, 2025 at um, 9 a.m. and that will be by Zoom. The pre-trial will be by Zoom. But of course the bench trial or the jury trial that I'm setting will be February 5th and 6th and that will be live at the courthouse. And the defendant as condition of bond is ordered to appear both dates and time. He needs to appear at the courthouse. I, I cannot trust him not to appear at the courthouse. So make sure he's here at least uh, at the courthouse. Then if you want to be with him in person, that's fine too. Okay, so continued on your bond with those conditions. Anything else before we get to the other point at hand? No, that's fine, Your Honor. All right, now the defendant was found in contempt multiple times uh, and still wouldn't quit disrespecting and disobeying the court until eventually he was ordered to reappear later the same day in person at 2.30 p.m. He told me he wasn't going to. He wouldn't tell me where he lived, where he worked, uh, blatantly refused to answer any questions of his whereabouts or anything I asked of him. He uh, continued to smoke during the Zoom, even though he'd been told not to. He continued to eat and take 
an enormous amount of drinks. And he continued to get in and out of his truck and walk around the job site, take his uh, hard hat on, take it off, walk all about, all during other defendants' hearings. And then when his case was called, that's when he started uh, becoming blatantly verbally disrespectful and telling the court how to do its job and not do its job. Throughout the docket, he was highly disrespectful and disruptive. He would talk over the court. He would make rude, personal, insulting, and disrespectful comments about and to the court. And ultimately, he was found in contempt to the point that he'd earned $500 in fines and he was told to get that paid within a set time that he did not. He was told to appear later that day at 2.30 in person, which he did not. And then he saw Judge Rickey, Chief Judge David Rickey on September 11th, and Judge Rickey found that he still had not paid the $500 and he gave him one week to get it paid. And in fact, he gave him a, an OR bond, which would have made it easier for him to pay the contempt within one week. He didn't pay it. He saw Judge Lee September 20th. Judge Lee said, well, he'll leave the contempt up to me when he sees me again. But he still hasn't paid it. Once again, he has totally disregarded court orders. So let's first deal with the consequences of it not, his not paying as multiple courts have ordered him to do. Then I want to address his direct contempt of not appearing when he was told to do uh, later that day of August 14th. Now, whether we address Judge Rickey's orders that he violated, uh, that we may postpone and let Judge Rickey decide if he wants to pursue that or if we want to go after him uh, at a later date. But right now I want to focus on his contempt of court where he has not paid the 500, that's another act of contempt, and is not appearing as he told me he wasn't going to do and didn't, even though I ordered it. So let's start with why he hasn't paid followed by why he didn't follow my order to appear. Counsel? Well, first, Your Honor, uh, I, I do know that he would like to apologize to you if you'd allow him to do that. And I, he doesn't have an explanation that's going to justify his conduct, nor is he going to try to. But I know he wants to apologize. I mean, the money's one thing. He doesn't have a lot of money, um, but his conduct is something he can control no matter what. And I do, if you allow him the opportunity to, to, to address you, I think we'd like to start there if that's okay with your honor. Well, normally I appreciate a kind apology, but frankly, I'm not sure it's going to be sincere, and I don't, I don't want it unless it's sincere, Mr. Solator. I sense he's, if he makes an apology, it's going to be because his attorney told him that he needs to do that. Well, Your Honor, I, I, I would throw it at your feet, let him apologize, and whether you find it sincere or not, I, I mean, I can't, can't make that judgment for you. I think you know that, but... I'm not trying to speak for you. I'm not sure what else I'm supposed to do other than let him. I mean, I, I will stand away and let him make his remarks. All right. Go ahead, Mr. Phillips. I would just like to say I am very sorry for my actions that day. Again, me apologizing doesn't give my actions justification in any means or in any grounds. Uh, I disrespected you, your court, your officer here, the DA, and... I've been under a lot of stress working out of town, very many hours with very little pay. And there's no excuse for it. I was just more bad things happen, happening compilingly. And it all came out in the wrong, in the very wrong place. Wrong place, wrong time with the wrong person. And I I am very sincere in my apologies. Not when all this happened, I wanted to apologize. And uh, even if you go ahead and read the other cases. When the other judge sentenced me when I was in Butler County, I was even apologizing then. I think I had the same uh, district attorney there where I was trying to apologize, at least to you, if not to you, to someone that can actually hear the apology without someone sitting next to me trying to say, you know, maybe he had 
you know, someone tell him to do it or whatever. I am very sorry. I mean, my actions are out of line and there is no, no excuse for it. I am truly sorry for disrespecting you personally and the court as well. Well, I think the whole day of August 14th started off bad because I have a note that before court even, you had called the uh, one of the clerks and informed her you weren't coming to court because you were working in Independence, Kansas. And she explained to you that you could appear by Zoom and gave you the codes. And we weren't sure based on your conversation that you were going to appear, but you did appear by Zoom and then the rest of it went from there. Uh, so why did you not, well, I'll strike that, I don't. You still have not paid the $500 and no matter how sorry you are, your conduct was outrageous and it's not going to be just excused. You've had since October 4th, August 14th to pay that. You gave me the impression that you were a powerful employee of a well-to-do company and you were making good money that you emphasized you were the, uh, supervisor and you showed me by walking around that you did have a crew there now you're saying you're underpaid are you going to uh offer the underpayment as justification for not following my order or chief judge ricky's to get that paid she's asking you why you haven't paid uh no your honor uh when we were in court that day uh, you said I had to pay it or do three days in jail. And that's that's the whole reason. I mean, if you go back in the Zoom videos. That, that, was that your understanding? That that, that was my understanding. I, that, that, was, that was my sincere understanding. So when I went back in front of that judge, I was asking the same questions. Like, do I still have to pay this or what what's going on? Because it was three days. I did six. I don't I just don't understand. And he said, we're going to let you decide that because. I'm I'm still willing to pay it, but I was that, my understanding. That, excuse me, sir. That is what the third judge said. Chief Judge Ricky told you September 11th you would pay it within one week. He didn't give you any jail time, and I don't think I did either because I told you to be here that day at 2:30, uh, and you didn't show up or pay. So I don't buy that you misunderstood and that. Somewhere you have, are you saying you think you paid it because you got arrested and had to serve a little time before the judge saw you? Well, yeah, I, I now, thought it was like. So you not only misunderstood me, you misunderstood Chief Judge Ricky when he said you pay that 500 within the week. Just. Is that a yes? Is that a no? Uh, well, I, I was, I didn't know if I was waiting to see if I could, uh, well, yes, because it was the five and then he said something about a thousand dollars and I wasn't, I wasn't even asking then I was, I was, I'm just, com I'm confused. And your I, honor, I, I certainly can help him understand the situation. I can tell the court that he's done six days, um, which wasn't part of the order. It was just, it was money and he's done six days, which I think is, you know, a bigger sanction than $500. I, he certainly telling me and i know he's got someone here with him that they can uh get that paid and they will pay it it was i mean I, you can judge this is heritage judge and it doesn't sound like you're buying it that's fine i understand that but this all resulted from his behavior that day and i hope at least i did find that sincere but maybe you don't of, of the way his conduct and he can't excuse that the money it sounds like he was confused whether you buy that or not i don't know um but he did do six days on a driving while suspended case at normally carries a two-day minimum um and, I mean, and that's well I, yeah but actual serve time normal anyway so I, all <laughs> right I'm, we won't get into that okay well i think it's clear that i ordered him to pay five hundred dollars and it is well past the date he was to pay it i think it's clear judge ricky told him to pay it it's not what he thinks it's what the judge says so is he going to pay that today counsel he does not have five hundred dollars today it doesn't sound like i i could pay something but can you pay anything i could pay something well you're able to pay a, a pretty prestigious attorney there account and you're 
able to talk the judge into giving you a thousand dollar OR bond so that you can pay it and you still haven't paid it. I question your sincerity if you intend to pay it. I thought somebody was implying you had someone there to help you pay it. No, I was talking. If you can give me a second, Your Honor. All right. Your Honor, I'm being told they can make a $200 payment today. And the other and 30? They, they, could, they can pay that within, if you give them uh, 30 days, they'd have the other 300 paid off. The time he spent in jail was for failing to appear at a designated court date. It doesn't uh, address necessarily any subsequent contempt. I will allow him to pay the $200 today with the remaining three to be paid, to be paid in full by What date did we give him? February? I'm not giving that long. Within 30 days, he must have the 300 paid in full. That means it must be paid by December 13th, 2024, or I will find him in further contempt. And then I want to address his failure to uh, follow my instructions to appear at, a, at the courthouse later that day. I will hold off on that issue until I see how he behaves from this day forward on this case and whether he pays as ordered. And this is the last one. He's going to be doing more contempt jail time if he doesn't get that paid as ordered in 30 days. Understood. Okay. So apparently he will stay out on his $1,000 OR bond that he convince Judge Ricky to issue if if he had that paid within a week and he didn't. Anything else, counsel, that we need to address? Not for purposes of today's hearing, Your Honor. No, Your Honor, thank you. All right. Mr. Phillips, are you still employed by that same company? Yes, Your Honor, it's NOAC Construction. Yeah, why don't you tell me that since you wouldn't before? No walk, N O W A K? Yes, ma'am. The same people that are doing your guys' water system here. Okay, and that's in uh, Goddard, Kansas. Goddard. All right. And where are you living now? Uh, 1127 North. Oh, stop, stop. You're on, on YouTube. Is it the same address you put on that OR bond? Yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's the same one. Yes. Okay. You don't want to now, this. Trooper Lieber, I did not ask you, and I've, I've you've sat here all this time since one thirty or before. Are you available for jury trial if it if it goes in February? Because if I need to set it for jury trial, it will be uh, February fourth and fifth. We haven't gotten there, but if I need to, are you available? Yes, ma'am. We'll make it work. All right. Well, thank you for your patience and dedication to this case for being here. Thank I'm going to let you go at this time unless Mr. Regeer needs you for anything else. Not to my knowledge, Judge. I believe this is the last case on this afternoon's docket. All right. And do you have anything else on this matter, Mr. Regeer? Uh, not to my knowledge, Judge. I believe the uh, court has already um, addressed the prior goings on in this case far better than I can. All right. Mr. Uh, Solator, anything further? Your Honor, I was just conferring with the deputy. You just said uh, fourth and fifth the jury trial. We had written down the fifth and sixth. We just want to make it sure. It is the fifth and sixth, Trooper Lieber. It is the fifth and sixth. Now, one more question I have. I show that there was to be a cash-only bond of 500, but that he paid the 1,000 OR. So... Jen, can you look at that screen and tell me 
anything about what's why that's inconsistent? Is it because the judge changed it, maybe? Your Honor. Yes. Um, you're referring to his OR bonds? Right. So Judge Ricky set his OR bond, so he didn't have to put up any money. He just had to sign the paper to leave. Okay. He didn't have to put up any money, but he was ordered to pay the 500 Yes, so if he fails to appear in the future, the county attorney can go after the $1,000. Okay, all right. There you have it. So if there's nothing further, Mr. Zolator, you and your client are excused, as is Thank Trooper you. Lieber. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you all. And uh, this docket is adjourned for today.